This is a very old poem that I wrote about 20 years ago. Uh, I've been peddling this shit for a lot longer than you'd probably believe. I'm deceptively old. A late bloomer. Puberty for me was like Luke Skywalker's Jedi training. It happened about 20 years too late, it lasted for about an afternoon, and in the end I had to fight my dad. There's an old one, it goes like this. The shit that killed Elvis was three feet long, it broke his pelvis solid as a rock, jet black and piping hot. The shit that killed Elvis weighed a quarter of a ton. I like my rock stars dead, with an orange in their mouth, handcuffed to a bed, choking on their own vomit. Could be drugs, could be a ham sandwich, I don't care, it makes them sound better. I like my rock stars dead. Fouling a thousand pound on a toilet and dragged back by a life support. Sobering up on a hospital ward with a beer gut like a medicine ball. Fuck that. I rather went with a smile. Stood on stage, drugged up to the eyeballs. I wonder if Lisa Left Eye Lopez's left eye started decomposing. Yeah. <laughs> that one always touches a nerve, that line. Like, fucking hell, Lisa Left Eye Lopez died 19 fucking years ago, guys. Like, I'd be surprised if either of her eyes still exist in any fucking capacity. Happy go lucky hip hop, fuck off, I like my rock stars dead. I don't care if you have to kill yourself like Kurt Cobain. Just ask Richie Edwards, man, the suicide is painless. Everything's gonna be alright, everything's gonna be alright. Well, I think Bob Marley lied. Why? Because he died. Everything wasn't alright. And talk about living on borrowed time, I just heard that Mick Hucknall's playing live and I'm pretty pissed off, but he hasn't died yet. I like my rock stars dead. This poem goes out to all of those that we lost in 2016 and the years after. Uh, David Boo Hooey, uh, <laughs> Leonard Going, <laughs> in a bit, mate. Uh, the artist formerly known as the artist formerly known as Prince Buster, uh, Pete, Pete Burns. And you know what? He fucking did an all. And uh, Morrissey. <laughs> The first of the gang to die without actually physically dying. How the fuck did he manage that? The death of Morrissey's mortal soul has been particularly difficult for me. It's, uh, well, Morrissey has done for the glasses and quiff look what Adolf Hitler did for the Charlie Chaplin moustache, and now I look like a bit of a racist. 2016 wasn't good enough for me. I like my rock stars dead. Cheers. Yeah.